Today's topic, Charles Barkley. So this was during a broadcast. They were talking about politics. These are basketball analysts, Hall of Famers, Charles Barkley. I think uh, Kenny, who's not a Hall of Famer, and I think Shaq normally. And it's uh, basically one of the best, I feel like, halftime shows. They do great, like, post-game shows for the NBA. And uh, sometimes they delve into all kinds of topics. So here's what happened. Shared that news, how painful it was. Yeah, but the one thing I took out of that piece was... Man, I think most white people and black people are great people. I really believe that in my heart. But I think our system is set up where our politicians, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, are designed to make us not like each other so they can keep their grasp of money and power. They divide and conquer. I truly believe in my heart most white people and black people are awesome people. But we're so stupid following our politicians, whether they're Republicans or Democrats. And their only job is, hey, let's make these people not like each other. We don't live in their neighborhoods. we all got money. Let's make the whites and blacks not like, like each other. Let's make rich people and poor people not like each other. Uh, let's, let's scramble the middle class. I truly believe that in my heart. That video made a whole bunch of waves. So Preach, what are your thoughts? I agree. There was a point in time where politics was not, all throughout the 60s, 70s, young people were not engaging in politics. Right now is the time that people are engaging the most in politics. Now, politics is, and they need that. They need that to make a gap, to make them win. It is something, it is something that they, I believe that is something that they use. I remember, how was it? Uh... A, uh, Body Ventura, he was, used to be a wrestler, and then he went into politics. And when he got out of there, it was like, "Yo, this thing is exactly like wrestling." No, Jesse Ventura. Jesse Ventura. It's exactly like wrestling. On when the camera's on, pat pat, boom boom boom. When we in, when we in, 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 in uh, when we back there changing, we're like all homies and everything and stuff. That's what he is. That that's exactly what it is, and I believe that's what they polarize things. And it benefits them to, for people to be polarized, to be super fans left and right and this and that. And most people, I believe that all, in all of that scramble, if people could shut up and listen to each other, they have a lot in common and sometimes, oftentimes want the same thing. And it's by money. Uh, it's really what's going to be different is the, the, the money that you make. But if you separate the middle class, make the rich one okay you rich you on hand now we need to scramble these we gonna need to separate these people so whatever they vote for us they vote for this it, it benefits us i think that's what happens hmm. i really think that's what happening yeah if you poll people whether republican or democrats left right uh, on most major issues there's quite a lot of overlap whether it become like you know health care minimum wage uh a lot of these like different concepts like there's actually a vast majority of people on both sides who agree on a lot of these topics um and so it's always interesting when you see like politics next to his neck it's like hmm where's that coming from and this is completely anecdotal but in my personal experience whether i go to red states whether i go to blue states generally most of the people i meet are chill and cool you know it's really once you get online and people start talking about their political teams that it gets very vicious and you know, there's been so much pressure on us, uh, you know, ever since we started doing online to pick a team. Oh, you guys are fence sitters. Or maybe, maybe we just don't subscribe to one political ideology all throughout. And we don't agree with every single one of the ideas. And I've always said that I've leaned more left than I do right. But, you know, like I said, there's certain my views that, yeah, they do lean right. You know, and people say like, oh, that's because you're a grifter. Or maybe, maybe I just have views. I don't align with you. Now nah, you got to pick, Abba. Here's a good example. You know what I mean? You know, black folks generally vote left. But a lot of their social values are super conservative. Are they grifters? Or, due to history, religion, all kinds of different aspects, is their experience very nuanced? So, you know, I, I feel like the way that The Simpsons built is like you pick a team, you stick with that team, you stay loyal to that team, and you always shit on the other team. And it's always the Democrats' fault. It's always the liberals. It's always the, the, the conservatives. It's, 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 it's always that kind of talk that you see online that permeates. And to agree with the other side is to be ostracized from your tribe. So uh, oftentimes when I see these in conversations, I'm just like, ugh. And I think it, it, it does us a disservice because it makes us very suspicious of our neighbors. I've seen families being broken apart because who people vote for. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Yeah. Imagine being so tribal mm -hmm. that you leave the most intimate tribe that you have. Yep. Just because but of that's life. Think. That's life. And so, yeah, when it comes to these matters, uh, I do think uh, it's purposefully done because it's good for ratings. I mean, you know, look at Trump's now out of office. Look at a lot of these news companies and what, how much their ratings have tanked. Struggling. Without struggle, they don't make their money. It is profitable for them to elect somebody who is very polarizing because polarized people are constantly looking for information and things to echo what they're feeling on the inside. So they dig up dirt. I agree. I agree. I agree. My experience anecdotally, and I think what a lot of like surveys have showed is like most of us agree. Like cannabis is a perfect example. How is it that it's not legal in most areas, despite the fact that vast majority of people have voted for it to be legalized? Politicians want us at each other's neck. They don't want us to have what we want. So there's always problems with the system, of course. But uh, yeah, my general opinion is like I think a lot of people, are, most people, are vastly good people, and that's been my experience traveling. What's one of your favorite uh, basketball teams? Mm, probably say I don't really have a favorite basketball team. Okay, I, I got players I like, but that's it. Good. Well, you're not a real fan. You're not a real fan, but they treat politics like like, it's like sports. Kind of, it's kind of true. It's kind of true. They, I'm not a real fan. They, I'm, but I'm they, a sports hater. But they treat they treat politics like it's a sport. Yeah. If example, you vote for a team, you cannot. Oh no, that other person in that I can't stand that person. That other person in that team, he's trash. He's this. He's that. And you acknowledging that there's talent in that other team doesn't make you a real fan. Mm. So you're not really on a blue or a red, whatever, if you can see. No, that other side has a point. Sometimes mm. in politics, oftentimes, like, they debate and they disagree just because it's on the other side. Mm -hmm. Because the other side said it. No, I got to disagree just to prove my people that they're wrong and mm -hmm. I, I got to get, I got to show more. Po it's just that. Theater. Theater. It's yeah. theater. That's what it is. It's exactly like wrestling. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. So yeah, I mean, th those are my general thoughts on the matter. At the other day, like I said, I think most folks are pretty cool. So I got nothing bad to say. But let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with Charles Barkley or not? We want to hear from you guys.